I was the man of the house, real young. I uh, helped raise my little brother and sister. Didn't really have a lot of money. Like I remember some nights during the winter, we'd sleep next to the oven, so we could all like stay warm all together. On um, that kind of struggle really motivates me also, so I can support my family. 101, good job. I joined the Navy hoping to travel and experience new things. I was introduced to NAPS because for the past two years, I've only known Navy and I haven't really looked at school that much. And I knew that that's where I needed to go first. Initially, I wanted to become an officer from, from day one in high school. It wasn't affordable to go to, go to the colleges I wanted to go to, and so I had to make a decision whether or not to go to college or just enlist, which my parents really encouraged me to do. Yo, make it happen, make it happen. I had a lot of mentors in high school who said I had the potential to be an officer, so I really put my nose in the books. I finished off my class in A school, finished top 5% in power school, and got a nice little package together and did well in my interviews to earn my spot here. Enlisting would have been a great opportunity for me to get some experience in the Navy, figure out what it's all about, and at the point when I do go to college, I'll be older, wiser, and have a better sense of purpose and you know, actually have a solid idea of what I want to do. I'd say it's a little bit more difficult to boot camp, just more intense. You can definitely tell who's a prior. They maybe have their heads on a little straighter. They know what's going on. But the directs definitely notice who those priors are, and they set the standard. They, they're the example, and the directs will lean on them. They go through Great Lakes, then they'll come to NAPS, and then they will go to Pleat Summer. So they technically have three mode of an enlisted sailor, a proper midshipman candidate, and then a proper midshipman who will become an officer. People who come from the fleet, you already know all the answers. You know what it's like but the difficulty comes in helping out your classmates. The Navy definitely opened my eyes to, hey, you have to care for your shipmate. If your shipmate's in trouble, you have to help them. I have an obligation to help them. That made me want to help them more because if I were in boot camp right now and someone else was had already been there once and they could help me. People that are coming from high school that have never been in the military, when they come, they look as lost as I was on the first day of boot camp. Not ER, not ER. Try to be a good role model for, for those directs. I think what motivated me to go to the Naval Academy Vice other programs was the camaraderie that they had between each other. Every time they have a task set in front of them, it seems like they know exactly how to handle it. The basic building blocks you learn now when you're being indoctrinated, that'll want to follow you for the rest of your life. Once you decide that you want to be an officer, it's not about you anymore. Everything you do, it's about serving your enlisted. It's for them. It's for this country.